Okay. Hi, it's Maureen with Tell Your Home Charlotte here in beautiful Charlotte, North Carolina. And I am here with Tarika Louise and she is from Rika Rocks. And I met Tarika, actually, I sent her a an email, I think, or I can't remember how we met, but you, I think I called you and you called me back and we talked about your nonprofit, which I thought was amazing because basically the gist of it is Tarika helps people find out what their passion is and how to explore it and how to bring your passions to life. So I want to introduce her. She is here in the Charlotte area and in East Charlotte actually. And this is Tarika Louise from Rika Rocks Brand. And Tarika, tell us a little bit about Rika Rocks and how it came about and what it's all about and all that kind of fun stuff. Well, first off, thank you so much for such a beautiful <laughs> introduction. I'm honored to be on your platform today. I founded Rika Rocks in 2015 after being at a lowest point, you know, in, in life. Life happens to all of us. You know, I had a lot of things that blindsided me, you know, in, in previous years, but in order for me to bounce back, I had to find, find my foundation. I had to find something solid that I can stand on. So I, that's when I found at Rika Rocks, you know, it's a solid foundation for purpose. And like you said, you know, what we do is we help people to not only tap into their passion, but to be able to know what their purpose is in life. And we're able to come alongside them in many forms. We are able to offer them life coaching. We offer mentorship programming. We offer support services. We have workshops and conferences, seminars, you name it, you know, that's going to help the community tap into resources that can help get them where it is that they need to be in life so that they can not only pursue their purpose, but live a life of fulfillment. Oh, that's amazing. So tell us a little bit about how specifically you've helped a few people in your time. Maybe draw from some of your past, obviously don't name names or whatever, because I think what you do is so super personal to every single person, <laughs> but we can probably all identify with other people's struggles. And sometimes we don't even know we're going through those struggles <laughs> ourselves. Yeah. So can you take us in a little bit deeper, like do a little deep dive into like maybe how Rika Rocks helps people, how they get to be with you. What are your workshops about and all that kind of fun stuff? Well, I can kind of give you a little bit of insight on the last workshop we did for the, and actually this was the first official event that Rika Rocks hosted here in Charlotte in the Mecklenburg County area. And, you know, we were talking about creating generational wealth. And okay. we talked about the different ways that you can go about it. I actually believe that's how you and I met because yes. I had a flyer and I, I created the event and I think I invited everyone that was on my friend list and my friend's friends list uh, to, to partake <laughs> and come in and, uh, you know, support the event. But creating that generational wealth, we brought in a real estate agent. We brought in a financial coach and business planner. We also brought in an insurance agent and they came in and facilitated. They all did 15 minute presentations to our participants about ways that they can invest in not only their future, you know, their themselves now, but their future and generations to come. So that, that was one of the more recent events we've done. But with Rika Rocks, I have been hosting events since 2015. I mean, I think the very first event that we ever hosted was actually a celebratory event where we um, honored mothers and it was a Mother's Day celebration. And it started mm -hmm. out the first year as a dinner. And then the next year, what we did was we um, had another dinner, but on a larger scale. And then the third year, now that's when things really, really took off. And this is prior, you know, this is actually before COVID happened. Mm -hmm. So that third year when we did that Mother's Day celebration, we actually had a fashion show. And this not only allowed for our participants to come out and celebrate and honor their parents, you know, and bond, mm -hmm. you know, with their parents. 
and the child, you know, the child bond them, you know, bond them with the parent, the parent bond with the child, but it also allowed for me to bring in vendors from local businesses that were allowed to come in and market their, their business as well. So everybody loved that event. Everybody was excited about it. We had a really great turnout. This actually took place in Ocala, which is where Rika Rocks was founded in, in Ocala, Florida, uh, which is where I used to reside so they loved it you know and it was just it just it done my heart well you know it just really really made me proud of my efforts and tell me what what brought you to mecklenburg county then so you were in ocala you said ocala right florida yes. and you know that's a big move up here to you yes. know charlotte we're a much bigger city i think too so what brought yes, you to very much so. city Yes, Charlotte is a big move, very, very different uh, night and day from Ocala to, you know, to Charlotte. Charlotte's very multicultural and diverse, which is what I was seeking, you know, and that, that, that's the primary reason why I knew that, you know, living in Ocala and, 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 and you know, in the Marion County area in Central Florida, that wasn't going to help me pursue my passion and help mm -hmm. me to live my purpose you know so i wanted to be in an area where i thought not only i can live out my purpose but also touch people on a larger scale mm -hmm. and been, been able to do that here in mecklenburg county in, in charlotte yeah we have a great mix of people here in charlotte oh, yeah. i you know i've been here for 20 years i love it so tell me a little bit about your education and your background and what do you bring to the table with rika rocks well, I am actually a graduate of North Carolina Central University. This is where I studied uh, my undergraduate. I got my bachelor's degree in psychology. And mm -hmm. actually, I started out as an elementary education major. But, you know, that didn't pan out too well. You know, hey, all things work together for the good. Yep. <laughs> so, um, you know, although I love the children, I were not able to work with them in a public school setting so what i done was as a career i worked at for actually another nonprofit. i, I worked at a place in ocala that's called arc marion and we basically serve the community who are developmentally delayed or people who need mm -hmm. support services where you know given a platform for individuals who are underserved you know in a, in a better way to put it but i worked there i worked with the adults and i also got a chance to work with the babies infants and toddlers oh. and so i was an early intervention teacher for infants and toddlers which led me to uh, broaden my career and pursue my certification and for me to become a developmental therapist so now that that's that's my profession that's what i've done i did that for about eight and a half years and i loved it you know i always had a heart for the babies and helping you know them in their earlier years to get that development that they need you know gross motor skill fine motor skill dangerous you know speech and language you know that that that's mm -hmm. something that i was very, very passionate about and been able to serve the children and their families that's nice and then so what are you looking to do with rika rocks in the future so what is the plan i guess for like 2024 oh wow ah oh man there's so much i would love to see come to pass in 2024 but i think right now what i'm focusing on is just raising awareness about Rika Rocks. I want people to know that we are here mm -hmm. and we are ready to serve right here in, in Charlotte, North Carolina and the entire Mecklenburg County area. We want people to know that we're looking to serve our community at large, which is the reason why we're focusing now on more so community events versus individualized services for individuals. We want to just kind of make a name for ourselves here and mm -hmm. to let people know that we are interested in collaborating with other organizations, nonprofits, for profits, you know, as long as they are able to align with our mission and our vision. Mm -hmm. So, who are your 
perfect like if you were to think about who your client avatar is who is the perfect person you're looking to attract to Rika Rocks oh wow we love aspiring entrepreneurs I always mm -hmm. say aspiring entrepreneurs because the aspiring entrepreneurs have a innate zeal you know they have mm -hmm. this drive they have already discovered what it is that they like what they love what they want to do what they're passionate about and they really just need the support system they need someone or you know some entity to come alongside them and encourage them and give them and help you know get them get the resources that they need to grow and develop as a up and coming entrepreneur some maybe you know looking to restart you know as an entrepreneur they may be looking to change gears or, you know switch things up a bit and they need someone to help them to get that restart and we can become um, the foundation for them to be able to do that as well so we're just you know aspiring entrepreneurs are our number one avatar also people who are unserved you know people who are unemployed people who are you know families and and, and just i we i we have a bride range of people that we serve but mm -hmm. just to name a few entrepreneurs and people who are underserved and unemployed so tell me or tell the audience how can they get in touch with you i mean you're, i know you're on social media um how if they if they if this speaks to them and they would like to talk to you about your services how do they get in touch with you well, I would like to direct you to my website for one so that you can learn a bit more about myself and Rika Rocks and what it is that we do and have to offer. You can visit uh, RikaRocksBrand.com, www.RikaRocksBrand.com. You can also follow us on Facebook at Rika Rocks Brand and also Instagram at Rika Rocks Brand. And if you would like to, you know, connect with me more on a personal basis, you can find myself on social media as well. I'm on Facebook, Tarika Louise, mm -hmm. T-R-E-K-A-L-O-U-I-S-E, -E, uh, just to kind of spell it out, Tarika Louise. Um, and we'll put, and we'll put those, we'll put that also in the description. Okay. So, cause awesome. it's hard for people to write it down. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, see, I know, right? That's thankfully we're recording this so they can play it back as many times as they like. Right. But yeah, you can find me on, on Tarika Louise on Facebook and Tarika Louise also on Instagram or my handle is t louise t t louise please so t louise please that's yeah. awesome <laughs> <laughs> so and then you you know as a nonprofit, you're probably looking for volunteers or donors or you know people to so if somebody this if this is their passion too and they want to help what what type of opportunities do you have for those people Yes, so we're definitely looking for a support system for ourselves to grow as well. We need volunteers, we need donors, people who are willing to invest in our vision so that we can invest into our community. And also, again, if you would like to do that, reach out to me personally, or you can go to my website and contact me that way if that's the way you prefer to do so. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants to be part of one of your seminars or something like that, they could just reach out to you and see when the next one is and they can absolutely, figure out. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. The best way to keep up with the current events is to follow, follow, follow on social media platforms. Yeah. Uh, I get my business to make sure that I am informing all of my followers and community at large of what it is that we're offering and when. So please do follow to stay connected and, and informed. Okay. All right, Trika, it was great talking to you. Is there anything else you want to add to this? You know, Maureen, just to kind of thank you again for having me here on your platform. I'm honored. I am excited, you know, yeah. about what the future holds for Rika Rocks and and myself and what it is that we're able to offer. I'm delighted for the opportunity to serve, you know, people. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and and in an in, in individual basis as well so i'm just grateful for that i'm looking for growth here in charlotte and to make a name for myself here in charlotte so 
Well, and thank you for being here. I appreciate you being here. It's not so easy getting on camera. Uh, everyone's always afraid to be on the camera, but yeah. Uh, it was my pleasure and thank you so much for all that you do for people. And again, if you want to reach out to Rika, we'll have her contact information in our uh description and i'm maureen mahood broker owner of sell your home charlotte here in charlotte north carolina and that's it charlotte so brand new nonprofit here in charlotte if you're interested in becoming part of it if you need help if you want to volunteer if you want to be a, a vendor or you know help in any kind of way a donor reach out to rika and then she will uh certainly yeah, point you in the right direction yeah, all right yeah. well thanks again and uh just everybody remember nobody sells charlotte like we do